Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, beautiful uh, Thursday morning here in uh, Austin, Texas. This is day 1038 of the Three Plus Minutes of Planes Challenge, and as always, I am filled with gratitude. Uh, thoughts on my mind this morning. Um, last Friday, uh, I was making my way from Colorado Springs with my with my brother Larry as we made our way to Leadville um, to go pace at the Leadville 100. And um, there's a restaurant that we always stop about halfway between. Uh, it's uh, in Hartzell, Colorado, called Highland um, Cafe. And we went in there, something that we do every time <clears throat> we travel in between the cities. And um, we just either got a lunch or breakfast or whatever. And we got to meet uh, two individuals. Uh, one of them is Stephen, and the other is Sean. Uh, uh, Sean is a young lady um, who was our waitress, and um, she spells her name S-H-A-U-N, which I'd never heard uh, a young lady spell her name that way. And as we were talking to her, she was telling us about the fact that the only other person or other girl that she's known that spelled it that same way she had met a few years ago. And they also had the same birthday. <laughs> and I just smiled. I was like, well, God wink. <laughs> um, and she knew that it wasn't no any coincidence, which I thought was really, really cool. We had a really amazing time. Uh, I also told Stephen, uh, for some reason, every time I meet a Stephen, they are significant in my life. Like they show me something. I see something. It's, it's, it's just a weird thing. So I, I said that to him, and we just had a really, really great dinner or lunch. Uh, I overheard Sean talking about her buying a food truck and her aspirations for it and the complications that were coming her way. And, and I just, as I listened to her, I also loved the fact that her perseverance, even though everything seemed to be going against her, she still was fighting to be the best that she was. So at the end of the the day, they ended up comping our, our lunch, which was really, really, really cool. We were really, really touched by it. And towards the end, uh, I was talking to Sean and I told her, I said, Sean, you're amazing. You're gonna be okay. I know you're feeling confused in this moment, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm proud of you. And it brought tears to her eyes. And I was kind of curious as to why. And she said, because I needed to hear that in the moment. And I understood. So I ended up taking off my hat and explaining it to her and telling her what this means to me, what courage means to me. And the fact that she was so courageous if she would take my hat. And the hat that she had on, <laughs> she gifted to me. Yeah. And I wear it with honor. And it's uh, smoky. Only you <laughs> can stop forest fires. But it means so much more to me. It was this exchange of something powerful. And for that, I am thankful. Anyway, that's my words for today. As always, be blessed today and every day. Thank you for listening. Peace.